Wes Halmin Freund and welcome to it another video. My dear, dear friends, please look at the screen now. This is potentially a good news. Potentially, of course. If you've been following my channel for quite some time, my dear friends, you know that I'm a tremendous The Witcher fan, a fan of Andrzej Sapkowski. I have reread The Witcher saga multiple times in Polish. My mother being Polish, I'm fluent. And uh, every time I hear about uh, some of my favorite authors actually writing a new book and not just talking about one adaptation or another, I get excited. Now, of course, you have to understand, uh, once again, if you've been following my channel for quite some time, not very big fan of adaptations, whether it be uh, movie adaptations, TV shows, uh, I mean, uh, video games or board games, whatever. I just really don't need it. I am a fan of uh, the source material. If there's source material, I'm good. Thank you very much. Indeed. But let us dive into this very short report by RedanianIntelligence.com and I shall then provide you with a further take of mine, my dear friends. The Witcher author gives an update on new Witcher books plus his opinion on new Netflix show. Yes, there's the bonus. Uh, but, I mean, we have to take everything that uh, that is being said about the Netflix show uh, from the side of the author with a grain of salt. Of course, he is not going to say that it's absolutely shite, right? I mean, it's understandable that, you know, he's ha he will have to be at least, um, uh, you know, moderate, shall we say, very diplomatic. So, it has been 10 years since Season of Storms, the last book in Andrzej Sapkowski's The Witcher saga, was released. It served as a mid quill between some of the short stories in The Last Wish. And before that, in 1999, Sapkowski released The Lady of the Lake, the ending of The Witcher saga. Since then, the author has made comments about writing more books in this universe, and this last week was the latest. Well, the last week, I mean, I am kind of uh, late to the party with this one. This news has been around for quite some time already, a month or two even. But uh, I have just stumbled upon this article, so I am reporting on it. Speaking to uh, Jaya at the Taipei International Book Exhibition 2023, Andrzej Sapkowski gave a very short and quick answer to the question about any upcoming Witcher books. They are in the plans. He didn't elaborate further. It's unclear what's the status of the next Witcher book, as Sapkowski said almost the exact same thing five years ago at the Polish Comic Con 2018. Back then, his answer was a tiny bit more elaborate, asked about the uh, possibility of him continuing the story beyond the events of The Lady of the Lake. Sapkowski gave a firm no. The story is complete. The saga has been concluded. So if by any chance I write something in the Witcher universe and I sure have such intention, it would probably be something like a prequel or a sidequel, not a sequel. Now, of course, when I was talking about that, I, the, 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 the fact that I don't like prequels, sequels, spin-offs, rip-offs, I was, of course, talking about the adaptations once again, not the author's intention, not the author's uh, original creation. If he decides to write a prequel, sequel, midquel, well, it's up to him and he will have my money. At the end of the day, we still don't know for certain if and when there will be a new Witcher book, but we at least have assurance from Sapkowski himself that he's planning something. And now about the opinion, Sapkowski's opinion on the of the Netflix series. During the same event at Thai, uh, sorry, TIBE 2023, Sapkowski was asked about his opinion about the Netflix adaptation of his books. Once again, his answer was short. I've seen better. I've seen worse. All right, then. Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, I have to agree. I've seen better adaptations, quite obviously. But I have also seen worse adaptations. What do you think is the worst, ad the, the, the worst adaptation there that I'm referring to? Tick, Jack, Tick, Tock. Yes, ding, 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 ding. It is the Rings of Power, my dear friend. So um, I know that uh, one positive thing that we can say about uh, the adaptation uh, made by Netflix is that it really, and I have met people who uh, have come to love Sapkowski's books, thanks to the Witcher TV show. They watched either a season two or a couple of episodes, 
And they got interested in the books. They went, read them, and they loved them. I know some people like that personally. And I need to uh, give the adaptations this. Even if they are shy, even if they are not good, they are at least able to introduce people to the source material. And that is what I always recommend. Now, I know that not everybody will do this. I know that not everybody is a... Uh, reader. I know that not everybody has got the time to read an entire saga of books. I know that it's much easier to, to well, uh, turn on the Netflix and watch uh, a couple of hours of flashing images. But uh, I always say, you know, you see an interesting thing on television or in cinema. You you see that a film is going to come out. You see that uh, a TV show is going to come out. Try and read the source material first. I will bet my left ball, my dear friend, that it will be much better than the adaptation. But then again, we live in a day and age of uh, television. Well, not television really per se. Um, the television machine, but I'm, I meant uh, the streaming services. Even cinemas are going away slowly, slowly. And all that people care about are Netflix and HBO Max and all, you know, like uh, Disney Plus and all these streaming services. But this being said, I am glad that there is still a grain of uh, uh, bookworm left in the world. That people still, that there are still people who are enjoying books, either reading them or writing them. And uh, you can say whatever you want about Andrzej Sapkowski, the fact that um, first, at the very beginning, before the games were made, he sold the rights for a couple of zwarty, and then he regretted it. And then I think there was some legal dispute between him and the creators of the game. And you can say whatever you want about the old Polish, well, quote-unquote old, adaptation of uh, The Witcher. I mean, for what it is, it's quite entertaining. I do recommend you go and watch it. Uh, but I still love that guy. He is one of my favorite authors. And uh, yeah, I know there will be, oh Jesus, there will be the, those comments in the comment section down below. But Andrzej Sapkowski ripped off uh, Elric of Melibone, written by Michael Moorcock. Yeah, I mean, uh, I've I've got uh, a series of videos planned ab about that and about the fact that there is a clear difference between inspiration, influence, and a ripoff. And uh, Gerald of Rivia is definitely not a ripoff of Eric of Melibona. Those two characters and those two stories, they are different too much. Um, they are more different than they are similar. And uh, what I suggest is that you do not parrot and echo chamber um, something that an influencer or another has said in the past. All right, then. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. There will be all. Thank you very much for watching. And I'm out of here.